to the Turned Out Right shop. Recently, uh, I've been doing a lot of research on the web regarding router planes, um, and I decided I wanted to build one. But as I went through the process of building one, um, I came up kind of with my, my own vintage, and I thought I'd share that in this short video. In this video, I'm not going to go through um, how I did the actual uh, build and show you me making these parts on machines. Rather, I'm going to show you the parts I think uh, how you'd go about it is uh, is probably uh, you're going to modify it for your own technique or it's pretty obvious. First off, let's look at the frame itself. It's uh, made out of some tiger wood that I saved from decks, from a deck that we built. And you can see it's about 61 64 uh, thick um, and it's about five inches uh, wide. Uh, if you can see that, um, uh, everything is done on a center line on this block. Uh, this hole is roughly, let's see here, an um, inch and 39 60 fourths. Uh, and that's just a sight hole, so you can make that whatever size you want. And um, this collar is 5 8 You'd size that for whatever uh, collar you're going to use, and that'll become apparent in a minute. On the bot on the side here, I've got a 10-24 uh, uh, insert that's used to hold this collar in. Uh, there's a relief cut down here um, where the um, cylinder goes through this hole. These two holes were... Uh, or fails for holders, I actually ended up just uh, putting this block up here because I found that I really kind of like to push my thumbs up against this and push the block back and forth, the plane back and forth. Um, so uh, that's essentially the base frame, pretty simple. Um, oh, and um, this surface was uh, flattened. Um, this was glued on here, and um, I think this is pretty straightforward. So let's look at the parts that uh, make up this uh, router plane. Um, we have the bit holder here, and as I indicated before, it's it's relieved uh, so that um, this bit can be captured most of the time for most adjustments. Um, and this um, spacer, if you will, um, came from uh, Lowe's, but anyone you from the big box stores works fine. I, I drilled it out to to match the, this bit as closely as I could. Um, and then it's tapped with a 1024 a screw that, that acts as a set screw uh, to hold this bit in place. Um, so this is a, a bit holder, I think it's made out of steel. And obviously um, we have the, the bit which is using the sort of popular Allen wrench approach. Um, when this thing is ground with a relief at the bottom, so this is not sitting at 90 degrees. You can tell it's got a slight relief to it. Uh, this is ground at 30 degrees, and then there's flats ground on either side. Grind the flats first, because uh, when you lay it down uh, on the tool rest and the grinder, that makes it much easier for you to get a good flat and square surface. Uh, and then this was, was honed and polished, very similar to the way you would with any plane. Uh, and then this is the stop collar, so uh, this gets assembled inside the frame like this. Uh, and then the stop collar is used to make adjustments. So you pull the stop collar up, loosen that, and push it down, and pull the stop collar up, loosen that, push it down, so forth. And that's the that's the approach used to make adjustments. I found this to be uh, to pretty to be pretty obvious, straightforward, easy, and accurate to do. Um, and then, of course, we have two tools, two Allen wrenches here to put this thing together. Uh, you'll see that there's a, an, an insert here, a 1024 insert, and there's a set screw in there. It's used to hold um, uh, the bit holder in. So the way um, I usually assemble this is I put this guy in first. Uh, probably a good idea to loosen the set screw first. So I put this guy in first, this, and you'll notice what I did is I put a little, a little dot, uh, just a little um, scribe mark right there to line up to the center line. So 
I can get this pretty close when I get started. Tighten, snug this up. We're going to adjust it square in a minute. And we're going to put the bit in place. Okay. And we'll check for square. And it's so maybe a, a tad off. That looks pretty good. Tighten this down pretty good. And now you've got the bit installed in place. And for my sort of base setting, um, this uh, this has a slight uh, uh, cutting. It's a slight cutting depth when when this thing installed at base. Now what I noticed here. Uh, which is important is this is not flush so let's make sure that this bit holder is flush to the surface here not sticking down obviously that's going to interfere with the okay and it looks pretty square oh. tighten the Tighten the bit holder set screw. Sorry about the focus on the stupid camera. There. Bit holder set screw. And that looks reasonably square. Don't like it. That's what's nice about these are easy to make adjustments with these two set two different set screws here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Now, you see we've got the, the bit holder um, installed in the frame. Uh, if this is adjusted on center, um, and it's pretty much, you're ready to go. But let's go ahead and put the stop collar on. So the stop collar just goes on top. And again, you may use this to adjust increasing depth as you increase your cut. Um, so we'll uh, typically how you increase the cut is you adjust this up a little bit further let's say that that's maybe a 16 it's a little more than a 16 yeah anyways um, you, you adjust this to where you, that gap is the increase in the depth that the bits gonna push it stick down then you open up the bit set screw lower it down and tighten it again and uh, the good thing about this is this flat on the allen head will always bring this thing back to center uh, after you make an adjustment again sorry about the focal change here um, that still could be a little flatter but so you get the idea uh, you, that's the adjustments that you make and then to use this uh, plane you um, I usually grab, I put my thumbs here and just push back and forth. Um, uh, I sort of, these two holes here, I had a couple of other kinds of handles on here. And I didn't really like them. They were in the way. So I just, I really kind of like just grabbing a hold of this and pushing forward and back um, to get a pretty stable cut. And that's the instance of the, this router plane. Um, well, let's go ahead and see how it works. Okay, so um, um, I've got my router plane all set up. Um, the bit holder is nice and flush with the surface. Uh, the bit is aligned on the center line. And um, my stop collar is set just a little bit uh, above the bit. Just a little bit above the, the bit holder for our next step down. And I've got a slight, um, a slight cutting angle already ready on this. Now, I looked at um, the, putting a fence on this router plane, uh, but it turned out to be pretty complicated to get it right, and um, I didn't want to really um, upset the simplicity of this tool. What I found out is the best thing to do is, is just go to your table saw and cut grooves that uh, outline um, the data that you're trying to route out. Um, and this tool will pretty much stay in um, in line with uh, with these grooves you cut with saw. In fact, it, it can't move beyond that. So it, this I find it makes a really good technique to um, to create the outline that you want to start with. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just start to cut, 
and you'll put C. You already got this this one milled down to the first level. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this uh, this collar or this uh, bit down one more level. Also a simple measurement or simple, and we're going to cut the next level down. I went ahead and um, and repositioned this piece of wood so we could get uh, a little better shot and uh, this was interfering with this uh, stop lock over here. So um, we're going to go ahead and uh, adjust this down one level and so pull this guy back a little more than a sixteenth. Drop this bit down, tighten it back up. And we'll go route some more. Okay. Really smooth cutting. And as I said before, you, you really can't get beyond these uh, these saw stops. So this works. Uh, this works great. Okay, so I've uh, cut most of this dado uh, out already, so I wouldn't bore you with that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust for the for the last sort of finish cut. And you see, I have a pretty small gap set on this. I'm just going to drop that down, tighten it up, and uh, see the. We're going to go ahead and do the finished cuts here. And just run right along the edge, make it nice and square. As you can see, made a pretty nice uh, dado. I'm pretty satisfied with the tool. Simple frame, uh, um, a bit holder um, that has one operation uh, to cut on. I cut this on my mini mill um, Allen wrench. Um, Simply ground on my grinder, a couple of uh, a stop collar, and a couple of set screws, um, and you have yourself a pretty nice uh, router plane. Um, thanks for watching.